we're going to use the power of this microphone to support you and your business. Let's go to Greg in Montclair. What's going on, Greg? Hey, good morning, Bill. Thanks so much for having me you on. You got it. How are you doing? I love Montclair. Montclair is uh, it's a cool Jersey town. Too bad it's run by radicals, but I think that uh, that change is coming, too. What business do you yeah. have? It's it's um it's a lot of uh, interesting things going on here. I <laughs> yeah. actually live in town, yeah. but I, uh, I I I work in Butler at the High Point Brewing Company, right ah. behind the beard. And we uh you know we were delighted to have you uh, earlier, um I guess last week. And and again, thank you for the opportunity to come on and and sort of chat up our, our award winning brewery Greg, and uh, and of course the craft brewing business in the great let, state of New Jersey. Let me tell you, Greg, I I talked about this after I was at the brew company uh, last week. What an awesome job you do. First of all, you're, let me tell you something. You know, and I've said this over and over again, if you've been listening to me over the past few years, when I talk about a business, one of the first things that I mention is when you walk in, are the employees happy to be there? And when your employees are smiling and they're happy to be there, that means you got a good boss, you've got a competent owner, you got a good product, and and the the... Uh, customers are happy. And I walked in there. It was such a positive experience. I, I love I love your place. It's great. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, we worked really hard at, at creating that atmosphere. And, and of course, uh, you know, it all goes to my uh, my brewers. Those guys make some extraordinary beer. You know, we're, uh, we've been making beer for, since 1996. And I opened the brewery after coming back from Germany. I worked in Germany as a brewer. And, you know, I was over there and, and the craft brewing industry was starting to grow in the United States. And that's sort of when the entrepreneur's light bulb went off. And I said, you know, we can do so many great things in yeah. New Jersey and the United States. Why aren't we making beer that tastes like this in Germany and, you know, a place where people come from all over the world. So I came back to New Jersey, my native, my native New Jersey and, and opened up our brewery in Butler in a historic building where we have great water, you know, it's just great logistics. And, and uh, our tasting room is, is open to the public Wednesday through Sunday and come in, like you said, have that wonderful experience and, yeah. and enjoy, uh, you know, big landscape of beer and, and learn about the, the wonderful world. Of well, beer. and it's a very cool spot because the parking is like inside a courtyard. Right. Right. I, I mean, I, you know, I was, I'm an idiot, right? I circled the block twice before I figured it out, but, but th that was, that, that was a uh, user error on my part. It was actually pretty easy with all the signs. I just, you know, not paying attention, but parking is great. The beer is delicious. I, I tried two. I tried uh, something from the tap. Tell me real quick, what's the difference with the German brewing compared to other types of, of beer? Right. So the, the typical craft beer you'll find out there now is, is slanted a little more towards a very hoppy, unfiltered IPA style uh, with a lot of sort of different things to it. It's creative brewing. It's wonderful. But for us, you know, I learned how to make beer in the very classical sense. And our beer is only made with four ingredients, you know, malt pops water and yeast there's no funky chemicals there's no pasteurization it's fresh pure beer uh, we don't add any sulfites or anything like that so it's clean and uh it's fresh and it tastes like what you would be drinking at the oktoberfest in munich you know it's yeah. not a beer that's shipped across the atlantic it's so smooth it's not sharp it has a smooth taste right, right. yeah and and it's balanced with dimensions, you know, with flavor and people that I think are, are evolving now to appreciating those nuances and balances and, and, and the freshness, most importantly. Yeah. In our beer. I, I loved it. All right. So just uh, tell, uh, is there, there's a website, plug the website, yep, people yep. check it out today and, and stop and see you on Wednesday. Sure. Yeah. The, uh, a couple of things, there's a big event we're having to debut our winter wheat double block on November 11th from two to five. It's at the brewery. It's free admission. Um, and you can try our award-winning beers. You know, we just won that international award at the Beer Olympics, the World Beer Cup. Yep, we won that yep. gold medal for our amber. And you can read all about it at uh, ramsteinbeer.com. Ram, S-T-E-I-N, ramsteinbeer.com. I love Correct. it. Yep. Hey, the the, uh, the 11th, that's open to the public. I love that. If I am off that day, if I've got some time in between, I want to be there. What What is it, two to five? Two to five, free admission. There'll be, you know, free samples, live music, and, and all, a whole lot more. I love it. Come on in. All right, man. Greg, great to talk to you. Thanks again for the hospitality, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, scheduling an event with you guys very soon that we'll, uh, um, we'll be there. Yeah, we'd love to have you, Bill. Keep up the great work. Thanks so much. Have Thanks. a great week. Thanks, Greg. You too. Take care. All right, that was uh, Greg and Montclair. Let me tell you something. No joke. No joke. This German beer... 
four ingredients. That's what sells me. It's simple. It's just delicious beer.